Hey there, welcome to Big Old Bill's Backyard Barbecue. Today uh, we're going to be smoking some pork belly, turn into some pork belly burn tans, look like this. Uh, stay tuned, like and subscribe to see this turn into this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this pork belly into some nice inch to an inch and a half thick slices. Um, it doesn't have to be anything perfect, just some rough slices from one end down to the other. As you'll see here in a quick second, um, pork belly here is, is pretty much a 50-50 ratio of fat to meat. So when we cube these strips out, they will shrink down quite a bit in the smoker. You'll see that. So right here, I'm just removing some excess fat that we don't need to keep onto the pork belly as it will be a little bit too much fat. So what we want to do next is cube these strips up into about inch to an inch and a half thick so that way we have even cubes and you're going to do this all the way down each strip that we've cut now i know these cubes may look a little bit big or oversized for a nice little portion but once we throw these in the smoker you'll see that they've rendered down to quite easily a two bite size just uh Stay tuned and you'll see that for yourself. So we are now on to our last strip of pork belly. We want to just finish cubing this one up. And once we have it cubed up, we'll just take a quick look at this beautiful pile of pork belly. It's going to be delicious. So our first step in the process today is to simply oil down the cooking grates that we're going to be using for the pork belly. Uh, we're using cookie sheets today. Uh, we're doing this so that way the pork belly doesn't stick in the final stage when it's fully cooked out. All right, so now the fun part begins. We're going to be placing these beautiful pork belly chunks, these cubes, onto our cooking grate. We want to make sure that there is enough space in between so the smoke can hit all sides of it. We just really want to make sure that we're not having any of these pieces of pork belly touch each other because then those parts will not cook as evenly as the rest. All right, we've got the last final few pieces put onto our grate. We're going to move on to seasoning next. So for these pork belly burnt ends, we're going to season them with our clubhouse maple bacon seasoning. And we're going to go on a generous seasoning on all sides of the pork belly. That way, every side is covered and each bite has a full amount of flavor when you get into it. And I would definitely recommend doing this over top of a cookie sheet or a baking pan. That way you can use any seasoning that has fallen off of them and you can wipe it up with the other sides of your pork bellies cubes. This really helps in the cleanup process as well. So that way there's not a huge mess everywhere. Once again, I just want to repeat that we want to give a generous seasoning on all sides of each pork belly cube. Once we finish that, we'll meet you out at the smoker. All right, so for this cook, we want to get the, uh, the pit up to 250, 275 in between there somewhere. Uh, we're going to leave it in there for about two to three hours. Uh, get some nice smoke on it with some applewood smoke. And we'll check back in on it in about two hours. Okay, we're going to throw her in there. We want to be quick so we don't lose that heat. Shut it. Throw another set on. Lock her up. Lock 
We'll see you in a bit. Yep. So we've had these pork belly burnt ends smoking for about three hours now. Uh, let's take a look and see how they look. Pull them out. Nice and juicy. We're gonna bring them inside. We're gonna put some uh, extra butter, brown sugar, and honey on them. We'll see you there. All right, now that we're back inside with these beautiful pork belly, look at how tender that is. So it's squishy, juicy, nice applewood color to it. Man, does that thing look good. So we're gonna just put them all in the tin foil tray here. Um, just throw them in. They don't have to go in nice and neat. You just make sure they have a nice spacing around them. Now I really just want to show you the, the tenderness of that. Look at that piece. So now we're going to take about a stick of butter. We're going to make it into even little cubes. Throw it on top there. Uh, just make sure it's well spaced out. So it's covering all the parts. Then we're going to take some nice dark brown sugar. A couple handfuls will do just when you think you have enough. Uh, just a little bit more just for good measures. You can never have too much of that golden sweetness. Next up we're going to use some nice honey. Uh, this was given to us from a friend of ours. Um, we want to give that liquid gold, it gives us a nice shine at the end when we're all finished cooking up these beautiful pork bellies. Alright, so here we're just going to get some nice arm length strips of tin foil and cover our baking tray so that way it can keep all those flavors and steam the inside of the pork belly to help it cook and break down that nice fat. We're going to finish these burnt ends up on the grill, put that grill to 275, throw it on there, indirect heat, let it sit for another hour, hour and a half, we'll check it out then. See ya. We're going to be making a glaze for these pork belly burnt ends. Uh, we're going to be using in that glaze today some red pepper jelly. Uh, we're also going to be using some Jack Daniels honey barbecue sauce, and we're also using some Trailer Park Boys hot sauce. And then, of course, we're going to be using cranberry juice for our binder with the liquids. So we're going to get about one cup of cranberry juice, pour it into the pot. And don't worry, we will be throwing the uh, recipe into the description down below. And next, we want to put about a quarter cup of the Jack Daniels Honey Barbecue Sauce into our measuring cup. We want to be sure that you have an open bottle first. So take your time, open the seal, take that nice white cap off there and start pouring into your measuring cup and follow through and throw it into the pot. And sometimes when you're using these types of measuring cups, the sauce won't just drip out of there on its own, so we have to take our mini spatula and scrape it out of there. Next up, we're going to open up our red pepper jelly. Take a couple spoonfuls to fill up our quarter cup measuring cup, but first I want to rinse that spatula off so that we don't get any mixing into the original jars. We just want to dump it into that measuring cup. If there's a little more than a quarter cup, that's okay. We just want to get that nice jelly flavoring in there. And last but not least, we're going to put a little bit of that hot sauce in there just for, for flavor, for your taste, depending on how much you want. We like things a little more spicy around here, so we put a little bit more than a tablespoon. Stir it all together, and then throw it on the stove top all right now that we have it on the stove top we're going to be 
heating this up until it's one combined liquid and we're going to pour it on top of our pork belly. All right, I'm ready to take a look at these things. If you are, let's go. Oh man, these things look amazing. So we're just going to take our nice spatula, give them a little spin around, twirl them up, get all that extra coating all over them, grab our second pan, take them out of that extra coating, put them in the pan. We don't want too much of that extra liquid in the pan with them. We want to leave it behind. And, you know, right now I don't really have much else to say for the video, but if you're feeling up to it, you can go on to Instagram, follow Big Old Bill's Barbecue. Uh, we'd really appreciate it here on the page. You can also take a quick second and follow this page on YouTube. That'd be pretty wonderful. We also have a Facebook page if you're feeling up to that. Thanks. And now, like I said previously, once we get them all in there, we're going to take that combined glaze that we made earlier, pour it all on top, give it a nice coating everywhere, should be good. And then we're going to throw these back on the grill for about 10-15 minutes, get a nice glaze on them so they can get all sticky and delicious. All right, so these have been brought in from the grill after being glazed, and they're nice and sticky. These are real tender, delicious, sticky. Couldn't have asked for a better cook on the smoker and the grill today. Um, as you're about to see, we got people walking around in the background, dogs, cats, anything you can think of, and that's what it's like being in the home. Once again, these things are squishy, tender, perfect cook. They are just a beautiful thing. Even George in the background, which is the yeah, other one. Oh, baby, they're good. So good. Thanks again for watching. I hope you click the subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment, and let us know what you'd like to see next. See you next time.